Well, tonight I'm gonna feature one of my favorite aeroids. It's called Antorium Regale. Okay, guys, look at this. It's so pretty. And what I love about this plant is, yung mga Antoriums po na ganito, the leaves feels like a velvet na ano, na na tela po, na cloth. So velvety. I just got this two weeks ago from a local gardener. Look. And it just looks so beautiful. Guys, pag ano po, pag local po kasi, you don't have the high risk of acclimatization. But then still, if the plants came from a um, colder place than the place where you are, sometimes it's still acclimatized, but not as high risk as buying it from abroad. So here, take a closer look po. Sa ating Anthorium regale. Now, I just want to talk how it looks so healthy and the gardener that where I bought it from just used a very simple medium which is let me show it to you it's just pure rice hull and she have some perlites I don't know some osmocotes I think fertilizer so again guys she just used pure rice hull and you know different focus at each aroids and plant like this they have different um, environment where they grow and they, there's no one solution for all despite the fact na matagal ka ng gardener or you're new you still have a lot of learnings to do because iba iba po kasi yung plant saka iba iba din po yung nasanayan nila but with us ito po i will repot this soon usually in two or three days nagre-repot po ako but then this i keep it for a while to have it acclimatized because so far okay naman po. Usually with us, what we use for our medium is 25% uh, um, pumice or if you don't have pumice, you can use perlite. And 25% mix of cocoa chunks and rice hull. 10% vermi fertilizer. Make sure it's really dry so we don't have earthworms in it or eggs na earthworms because earthworms are not good if your plants are potted because you know why you know why they can clog the holes of your plants and if clog po the water will stay and there's water it's really a good environment for bacteria and fungus to grow and it, it will eventually create or will cause root rot to your plants so avoid earthworms guys kasi dati nung first timer ako I thought earthworms are good for plants Earthworms are only good for plants if it's planted in the soil, okay? Now, next, 10% is we use uh, acacia leaves. Minimix po namin doon. 10% din po siya. Acacia leaves, I researched that it's good antibacterial and antifungus, but it's also a good, uh, a good, parang ano po siya, replacement for orchids bark. It will create a chunky feel chunky feel sa medium. Kasi we need chunky medium yung easily drain yung medium and airy. So the air can circulate po sa ating medium. Yun po ang reason. It, yun na naman kasing important. And also sunlight. Avoid direct sunlight. But of course your philodendrons and anthoriums and monsteras, they love bright area. Hmm? So bright area pa rin. Kami po, screen po kami sa aming garden. But if you have this indoors, you need to make sure that you have humidifier or the humidity is really controlled. Especially air condition, kasi dry air po yung air condition. But kami po, even outdoors, we still use humidifier for our plants. Ayan, guys! So for those who are thinking na bibili ng Antonio Marigale, this is it and how you take care of them. The leaves are so pretty. Sometimes, hindi naman po naglalagay ng fungicide yung mga sellers our gardeners and for us but rainy season we really spray fungicide to avoid fungus sa mga leaves para perfect po ang leaves or you spray um, baking soda mixed with uh, dishwashing uh, uh, dishwashing liquid soap na pinatulog po uh, 3 drops uh, half teaspoon in 1 liter and shake nyo po Pero po, pag nag-apply po kayo niyan or nag-spray kayo sa leaves, make sure it's evening. Kasi pag may sun po, maboburn po yung leaves. Ayan. So guys, look at it. It's very, very pretty. It's worth it, guys. 
And you know, if you're new, of course you have to learn how to take care of it because they're not they're not cheap, you know, guys. And pag namatay po, sayang po talaga. And you feel really bad pag namatayan po ikaw ng plants. Kasi experience po rin namin yan. It's a lot of learning and even if you're really good na or you're really a plantita for a long time, it can still happen. So ayan guys, I hope you enjoy my video. And watch out for more plants. I'm gonna be featuring in my blog. So don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye, see you. Enjoy your planting. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.